Uh, my name is Richard Clark. I'm the Director of Music and Organist uh, for the Archdiocese and for the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. The building is unique. It's interesting in that it's the largest Roman Catholic Church in New England. We have major events anywhere between 40 people in here to 2,000 plus people. So it's a place of extremes. You can have a, a nice little mass on a weekday or, and it's got to work in all situations. That presents some acoustic challenges as well. It's a church that's been around since the late 1800s. Basically asked for the opportunity to bid on the project. I explained some of the theory using an acoustic anchor to increase listener engagement. So the sound sounds like it's coming from where it looks like it's coming from. One of the great things that was done in this renovation, which was a great boost to music as an organist and as a choral director, someone who deals with singing, is we like to get rid of carpeting. We got rid of tons and tons, a sea of carpeting. There was this whole area, this entire area here, you see here and back there was a sea of plush thick carpeting. Uh, it soaks up a lot of sound, more than double the reverb time of the entire building, which as an organist, I love that, love it. We go from two and a half seconds to five seconds on the pipe organ, it's great. The choral music, you're singing music. That makes the job of the person with the PA system an awful lot harder. Uh, the spoken word. And that also has to be perfectly intelligible as well. I, as, as a musician, I appreciate that we're not going to do things to the building to help out the speech intelligibility. We're going to make it as hard as possible. They were totally on board with what I wanted to do, and they trusted me that it was going to be better than what else was being proposed. It just made perfect sense to me in terms of what a church this size is going to need. And I didn't see that happening from another integrator who was putting in standard audio system equipment. So Innovox was kind of a no-brainer because I knew the technology existed and you had the service and engineering excellence to back it up. That's where uh, we're very appreciative of the sound that has come through. If people have forgotten about it and no one's mentioning it and no one's thinking about it, you've done your job. <laughs> so that's, that's the way we want to keep it. And it's not easy. Because keeping me happy on the music end means your job's harder.